Hello learner, this is Self Duds, and in this video we'll be learning about how to install node modules locally. Basically there are two ways to install node module. The first one is the local installation of node modules and the second one is global installation of node modules. In this video we'll learn in depth way that how local installation of node modules are done. Basically in local installation of node modules, project specific installation of node modules are done, which means that node modules are installed according to the project. If a single module is needed by multiple project, say project A, project B and project C, then that module will be installed inside every project. It is not that all the project will use a single module. So in local installation, project specific installation of node modules are done. So if you take a look inside the folder structure, suppose this black box describes a folder in which source code related to the node app is present. So there is a node app and this black box written, ex, uh, this black box denotes the folder in which source code related to node app is present there. So inside this folder, a file called package.json will be present and this package.json file will contain the list of the node modules on which this node app will depend upon or the list of the node modules on which this node app is dependent. So when we install node modules locally, then a folder is created inside that app folder, which means when we install a module locally for the node app, then inside the node app folder, a new folder will be created and the name of that folder will be node underscore modules and all the node modules which we download from npm server will be put inside this folder. So if we try to install node modules, then those node modules will go inside this node modules folder. There are different ways through which we can install node modules locally. The first command is npm install module name. So npm is the command line tool which is used to install node modules. So npm stands for node package manager and we and when we install node.js then by default we get node package manager. So the first command is npm installed module name. So the module name can be searched from the npm website and according to our need we can download any module that is present there. The second one is the npm install module name minus minus save so this is a flag this is a flag which is used while installing a module we'll see why this flag is used and the another way to install node module locally is npm install module name minus minus save minus dev so the flag has one more content of minus dev so we'll also see why this another why this another flag is used for installing node modules locally. So we'll try to create a project and we'll see by doing hands-on that how node modules are installed locally. So we'll try to create a project with the name to do app. So we have a folder called to do app. We'll go inside this to do app folder and at present this folder is empty. So we'll try to initialize this folder as a npm project. So we'll say npm init. So when we do npm init, then node package manager asks some questions from us and we have to answer it. Like what is the name of the project? So currently I'll keep the name of the project as to do app. What is the version of the project? I'll leave it to 1.0.0. What is the description of this project? This app is a demo app. So this is the description of the project. What is the entry point of this project? So the entry point is index.js that when any another module will require it, then which file will be required by default. We'll see about this entry point in another video where I'll explain it in depth. What is the test command? We don't need it now. So I'm leaving it. What is the Git repository at currently this project is not connected to any git repository so i'm leaving it what are the keywords i'll just use test so this is the one keyword what is who is the author so it is self-tarts self-tarts is the author what is the license it is 
isc by default so it asks us that is this configuration for your project uh, correct and this configuration will be put inside the package.json file means a new package.json file will be created inside our to do app folder so we say that this is correct so if now you'll see inside uh, i'll do a clear screen and if now i'll see my folder to do app i can see a package.json file is created and as i have told you my node app will contain a package.json file so we'll try to install a module first we'll try to install a module first we'll, we'll try to see the package.json file so you can see only name is there version main script keyword author and license so we'll try to install the module using the first command so that what is the first command npm install module name so i will try to install the express module which is a web framework used by node.js community so i'll say npm install express so what it will do npm node package manager will go to the server npm server and try to install files from there so if now i see then i can get a new folder is created with the name node module so i have told you that the folder name new folder will be created and the name of that folder will be node modules so the file related to express.js is installed inside our node module folder this time if i see the package.json file i can see there there is no change like the previous one name version description main keywords and author and license is same as what was before so installing the express.js module didn't change anything inside my package.json file now i'll try to delete this folder rm minus rf node modules so the module that i have installed has been removed and this time i'll try to fire this command with the minus minus save flag so i'll say npm install express minus minus save so this time what it will do it will try to install it it will try to fetch the data from npm server and this time if i see my package.json file you can see that a new key has been created with the name dependencies and this time the name of the package that has been downloaded is written here and the version is also written here so we have installed the express express and the version that has been installed is 4.15.3 so what it does when we put the flag minus minus save it basically wrote the name of the pack name of the module with the version inside the dependencies section so it created a new key inside my package.json file and the name of that key is dependencies and inside the dependencies key it added the name of the module and the version of that module so i'll try to remove this which has been added by installing this and i'll again remove the node modules folder so i again remove the express module this time i'll use the third minus minus save dev key so it says npm inst install express minus minus save dev so again npm will go to the server npm server and try to install express from there but this time if i'll see my package.json file it so it says that a new key has been added with the name dev dependencies and the inside the dev dependencies again express is there and the version of the express that has been installed is written inside that so what happened when we installed the node module using minus minus save flag then only dependencies key key is added and when we did it through minus minus save dev so it's a development dependency so it is important to note the difference in dependencies and development dependencies dependencies are those module which are needed when my project is running on the production server but development dependencies are needed when we develop our project that at the time of development of our project one important example of that can be grunt and gulp 
plugins like we want to minify the css or we want to uh, uh, minify our js file for development purposes or before sending it to the production system so we use some plugins and those node plugins will be used as development dependency but if you use express server then this express server is needed by our project when it is running on production server so this express module can't be in development dependencies it has to be in the dependencies because it is not only needed during development purpose but it it is also needed when my app is running on the production system so i'll remove this again i'll delete it just and i'll remove the node modules folder and i'll again do the correct installation of express by tapping express minus minus save so this time what it will do it will write the name of express with the version inside my dependencies section so if i'll see my folder then inside the folder i have this package.json file which says dependencies of express and the version is 4.1.5 and now if you want to go inside the node module folder i can see the express folder inside it so if i'll go inside node module folder i can see express so express is there Exp express is installed but you can see that i downloaded a single module express but a hell lot of module has been downloaded from npm server this is because npm this express has a package.json file which denotes the detail about the express module so if you go inside the package.json file of express we can see there are different keys and at present we are only interested in the dependencies key so if you see the dependencies then express itself depends upon multiple dependencies means express has dependency on another other node module like accept array flatten content disposition content type cookie fire final hand uh, final handler fresh so these are the modules on which express uh, depends so if you see the uh, directory structure inside the node module folder you you can see the accept module is here array flatten is here and the content disposition is there so npm downloads it but this in this uh, tutorial we are using npm version 3 so it is it uses the flattening of dependencies so these modules which are the dependency of express module are not installed inside the express but it are these are installed as a sibling to express because of the flattening dependency algorithm you can learn more about this flattening dependency algorithm in my video tutorial which has uh, which is named as dependency resolution in no node modules so you can see that we have downloaded a single module here but because of the no npm version s3 these are installed as sibling modules to my express module and the modules that are installed here or downloaded here are the pack inside the package or they are present inside the package.json file of my express module so this is the way through which local installation of node modules are done so i think you understand the concept of local installation of node modules if you like my channel please subscribe to it if you like my video please give a thumbs up thank you and